we are going to talk about the uh, enhanced domains. First, we have to talk about a my domain. So this is the overview. My domain is a unique value that is used for company branding in URLs. For example, abcd123.my.salesforce.com or maybe um, your company name, myforce.com, anything. 100 of orgs now have my domains. 100% of the orgs have now my, my domains. Is a uh, it has a great and network flexibility, unlock new features. So this is the, on the right side, you see a diagram. That's a public internet. Then you, my domain, CNMS, you go to Salesforce, H and Salesforce, load balances. That's a Salesforce network. You don't see that there's a hyperforce, Salesforce data center, Garmin cloud, public cloud, and then they get the data from those clouds. So this is about my domain. Introduction to enhanced domains. So new host name standard. New set, set of host name for your org. You will learn later. Meet the latest browser security standard. Input certificate security standards. Each domain now has its, its own certificate. Earlier, you have one certificate um, for uh, shareable one now you have one certificate standardizes the source name syntax pattern uses my domain value for more features such as sites Salesforce experience now uses my domain um, uh, accelerated Salesforce experience traffic so let's move on current host names is my.salesforce.com enhance all the for same is the same, but the with my domain you add the sandbox here, lightning.force.com. You get a sandbox.lightningforce.com. Yeah, so these are the you add sandbox, and then you can see docu documentforce.com uh, is uh, enhanced domain host name is file.force.com. Sandbox enhanced domain. Host names are sandbox.file.force.com. Um, yeah, so these are for sandboxes. This is a um, uh, general ones, yeah, general URLs. So you can see the sandbox it added for sandboxes. So you are this is like prod instance. Uh, so both you can see my dot self for they are identical. Um, uh, Document force there's a difference file.force.com uh build a force dot the cell force hyphen community dot com and then it's the same <coughs> secure dot force source force com now is a my dot cell force hyphen sites dot com and so forth. <coughs> Let's move on. How to enable activation? Go to my domain setup. Click in the my, my domain detail section, Se select enhanced domain, select use enhanced domain, save your change. That's, that's how you um, enable my domain. How to enable? How to enable availability, availability available in all hyperforce dogs, the hyperfox available to all H enable dogs here. Available in all sandbox access go clouds. Um, this is the flaw of the enabling, enable or non H enable box in early May next year. You see the timeline summer 2022. Newly created box have used enhanced domain by default, and then spring 23 the same and winter 24 end of the redirection from legacy to host name they will stop it so 22 spring enhanced domain general availability they are available um, winter 23 enhanced domain enforcement uh, enforces summer 23 there's nothing yet there what you have to do is you have to embark on the transition you have to plan test deploy afterward you have to plan it 
use a sandbox, deploy before enforcement, update host name in documentation, verify integration, test critical workflows, choose to time to perform upgrades, don't change my domain after deployment if you intend to keep the redirection from legacy host names. So these are the plan test deploy afterwards. First, you have to review documentation, join the trailblazer community, understand possible breaking changes and prepare for testing. Testing, use sandboxes, verify integration, test critical workflows, gain confidence. You have to deploy after that to prod, deploy before enforcement, choose time to perform the upgrade, inform the users afterwards, update host name in documentation. That's the uh, after the deployment in prod, you have to do this here. Testing recommendation hotspots. Uh, test using sandbox hours. Verify system that use host name, host names, network firewall configuration, hard coded host name references, authentication config, service integrations, and APIs. Um, use normal usage activity. They are very important. Uh, Frequently asked question, will our old host name redirect to the new one? And how long? Yes, instantly. How does this affect our APIs? No, no effect. What we discover the incantability can be rolled back. Uh, no, you have to test it. Uh, uh, in lower sandbox, you have to be prepared. Will our custom domain be affected? No. Do we need to change SSO, SML authentication configs? No, you don't have effect. How do I know which host name we use? Um, so you don't have to worry about that. This is the um, general uh, sum uh, summary. Enhanced domain to comply with latest browser requirement and security standards. Salesforce is requiring customers use enhanced domains. With enhanced domain URL in your so Salesforce organization, including customer experience, cloud site, Salesforce site, uh, uh, content file are stabilized with domain URL. Enhanced domain URLs are complied with future browser standard provide URL stability and brand. The reason for using enhanced domain is a, a main reason is modern browsers will stop uh, blocking the third party cookies. So that is a reason for that, you know. Um, Enforcer's timeline, we discussed this earlier. Browser compliance, uh, enhanced open comply with the latest browser recommend as they avoid third party cookies, otherwise known cross site resources. Major web browsers, Apple, Safari, Mozilla, Firefox are already blocking third party cookies. Google had announced the plan to phase out all kind of Cookies in Chrome 2003, they are still unblocking it. Without enhanced domain, Salesforce content is delivered from a multiple domain. When the user's browser blocks a third party cookie, some content in Salesforce can get blocked. For example, a landing page that envylighting.force.com can load content where URL ends in initialforce.com. These are the um, uh, logins. My login myself.com. This is how you enable as we discuss my domain. You go to my domain, click the use and as domain. 